from BioWise 3 Raw TV. I want to throw this out here because I was just literally reading um, a comment, and the guy said, well, Jerry, how do you know, like, when people are telling you about their dosages or whatever, you know, anything, how do you know they're telling the truth? And I thought that was fucking, and I stopped for a second. I was like, you know what? Like, I don't think anybody really questions that. I mean, they question whether or not people are lying all the time now, but they're not questioning whether or not it would they'd be telling the truth. You know what I mean? So I'll tell you one thing right now. Nowadays, it seems like lying is almost fucking part of life. It almost think it seems like it's such a natural thing for people to do that you don't even think about it anymore. Like everyone automatically has to think someone's lying first in that they have to prove themselves rather than telling the truth and have to, you know, to have to worry about later about whether they're lying or not. And uh, I remember back in the day, because I'm old, motherfuckers, back in the day, people sometimes didn't talk about gear and stuff like that, but they didn't lie. Like, they didn't lie about it. Like, nowadays, like, everybody fucking lies. You got 280-pound monsters saying they're not taking anything. You got a guy that's 240, bigger than Arnold, shredded, curling a 70-pound fucking dumbbell with no effort whatsoever, saying he's natty, bro. He all gains, all natty, bro. All natty gains, bro. Come on with that shit, man. Fuck. Why would you say such outla- outrageous fucking things? You know, I remember back in the day, because I'm old, guys would tell you what they're using in... You know, you believe them. And the reason I believe them is several of these guys, I actually saw what they had, like gear wise. I saw what they were taking. I would be there at their houses when they took their shots. Now, could they have taken extra shots and shit like that? Yeah, but I actually used to go with a few of them to pick up their gear and I'd get my stuff from the same guy. We'd go and I'd see what they picked up and I knew what they could afford. They weren't making much money. So I knew they were only buying a certain amount and that's what they were taking. They couldn't afford anything else. And, um, you know, it was a much more expensive back then than it is now. A bottle of test $125, not fucking 35 bucks. It was stare as shit. And, you know, like, you kind of got comfortable with the fact that when you ask somebody something, you know, like, hey, man, you know, what do you think about this or the other thing? They would tell you the truth. They would just flat out tell you. You know, they told you what they thought. They told you what they were taking. They told you what they weren't taking. They told you what you, they thought you should take. And it seems nowadays if you ask someone something and they tell you, like, it almost seems like even if it makes sense, you don't believe it. Like, you can't believe it because everybody lies. They lie about fucking how much money they make. They lie about whether they're fucking cheating on their wife. They lie about their fucking job. They lie about fucking um, how many letters they get in their mailbox every day. They lie about whether they cut the fucking grass or not. They lie about the drugs they take. They fucking lie. And I'm just sitting there going, why? Like, what do you have to benefit from lying about what you're taking? Like, nobody's going to go out there and take what you're taking and all of a sudden fucking surpass you and blow right past you because they're taking what you take. So what is the fucking problem? Or if you take enough shit where, you know, I've been accused of taking five or more compounds before, including growth hormone. Fuck yeah, I was a competitive fucking bodybuilder. What the fuck? On the regional level, of course I took all that shit. Why the fuck wouldn't I? That's part of the fucking game. But now not being a competitor, why the fuck would I continue to take it? And then why would I lie about not taking it if I didn't take it? And my physique looked totally different than it did when I was taking it. If I was taking fucking six compounds before to look like I did on stage and I don't look anything like that anymore, why would someone still think I'm taking the same fucking compounds? You think that all of a sudden it doesn't work in my body or some shit? Like, I don't... It blows my fucking mind. Now, people are like, oh, he's got to be lying. When I was doing the show for the Team Universe, I was taking a TRT dosage, 200 milligrams of test from my doctor as well as Triandro. And I swear to God, if I didn't have a trend comment a day... Fucking he's on trend, he's this, that, growth hormone, all this shit. I'm like, growth hormone? What the fuck? Like, I would spend the fucking money on growth hormone. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't fucking buy it on that Chinese shit and put it in my body. But fuck no, I'm not spending money on the fucking farmer grade shit. Fuck that. And trend, motherfucker, why the fuck would I take trend? If I'm taking trend, I weigh 176 pounds and five, eight, and three quarters. I have fucked something up somewhere drastically wrong. But, you know, it, it just seemed like for some reason people weren't buying it. And now... Of course, things have come out and said that, you know, the triandra, the androsin and triandros have actually boosted your testosterone levels 500 points, which is fucking insane. But, you know, it wasn't trend. It wasn't growth hormone. It wasn't insulin. It was, I was listening to the guys that I was competing against talk about that shit thinking, well, fuck, this is what I got to do to be competitive in the national level. This is what I got to go back to. I got to take that shit. I got to, you know, whatever. And then you tell somebody like, look, I don't want to do this stuff. They're like, wow, you're already on it anyways. I'm like, oh my fucking God. I don't, why, why would I lie about that? If I lied, if I was taking 10 compounds and I look like that, I'd fucking give up. I'd shoot myself. You know, I would just fucking kill myself because it fucking wouldn't be working and it would be fucking worthless and I'd be fucking pathetic. But, you know, why, you know, if someone asks you a question about fucking, you know, do you think it's better to train to failure or try to train with volume? And I say, I think it's better to train with 
It's a failure. Oh, well, you, but you really mean volume, right? Like, you're just fucking saying that. Like, you think volume because so-and-so said volume. Like, why would I say one thing if I meant something else? What the fuck? And I kind of sit back and it's society as a whole. People just fucking lie. Like, I'll sit there. <laughs> one guy was telling me, he's a friend of mine, you know, he's telling me he made 150 grand this year and stuff. And his wife goes, what? You made like $85,000. Well, yeah, I made 150 before tax or whatever the fuck he was saying. And she's like, you brought home like fucking 75 grand. What the fuck? But he was exaggerating it for no fucking reason at all. And I'm like, why would you, why would you give a fuck? Why would you tell me something like that? It doesn't make any sense. We're laughing about it. But in my head, I'm like, what else do you inflate? What else do you exaggerate? What else do you lie about? Exaggerating is fucking lying. You know what I mean? Like it, I don't know. I kind of step back and I try to prove the things I say that have happened in my past and stuff like that, like with pictures and stuff and say, you know, if I was this big, you know, I was this big. I'm not, you know, exaggerating. I was over 270, you know, like try to give myself some fucking actual credit because I know that so many people on YouTube, so many people on Instagram, all that shit just make shit up and there's no proof. Like there's a fucking dude on um, YouTube, Instagram, whatever the fuck it is. And that motherfucker says everything in his fucking world was destroyed in a fire. There's not one picture of him left ever being in the best shape of his life ever. All this shit was destroyed in a fire. And I'm like, is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. But one fucking picture? There's not one picture that a family member has anywhere. of you in totally shredded shape when you were a fucking competitive bodybuilder? I find that kind of hard to believe. Like, why lie? Why not just say, look, I've never been that fucking lean? Whatever. You know, it doesn't make any fucking sense to to bullshit like people do nowadays. I, you know, I don't fucking get it. Like, I guess I'll never get it. You know what I mean? I guess I won't get it because it really doesn't benefit me to fucking lie. You lie, you get caught in the lie. You get caught in the lie, you tell another lie. It weaves a giant fucking web of lies and you just fucking look retarded. And in the end, what happens? You look fucking dumb. Like, that's all it is. So, guys, be aware. Like, if somebody asks you something, don't fucking lie about it. Just flat out say, here's the fucking deal. Blah, 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 blah. And fucking be about it. You know, be on your way and fucking don't worry about it. Why, you know, make situations fucking worse when they just don't have to be worse? And why put out the wrong information? That could wind up fucking... I mean, some of that shit could hurt people. If people out there are saying they fucking take, you know, oh, I only take fucking 2,000 milligrams. Someone else is like, no, that motherfucker takes 15,000 milligrams. Someone believes the other guy and goes out and fucking tries to replicate what you're doing with 15,000 milligrams and fucks himself up. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So just, I guess the fucking take-home message is just fucking be honest. Jesus Christ. Bioestrategy at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. Don't lie. www.bioestrategy.com is the blog. It's the be honest bicep and work.